Hi, this is Terry with Central Valley Air Gunners and FoxAirPower.com. How's everybody doing? So look at what's up on the bench today. The AEA 50 caliber Challenger Bullpup and Standard Linked. These are the big bore size ever versions. It's officially chronograph day. We're going to do the Bullpup because it's a little shorter than the Standard Linked. A um, couple things I'd like to point out is my UTG 4 to 16 by 40 very nice scope nice long scope the UTG 7 to 9 inch bipod 41 millimeter bottle clamp black arse design barrel band and the Mr. Hollow Point ammo we're gonna do 235s 258s and 300s today so yeah, I've done a video on the 50 caliber Challenger Bullpup Big Bore Side Diver model before. This has been a well received uh, video on YouTube. Thank you very much. But there are some major differences between that gun and this gun. Um, that gun was literally a factory prototype. This gun is a production model right out of the box. Never been fired. Um, other major difference is there was no Donnie FL stuff for this gun when I first did it. Uh, when I first did the first video. It was very loud. <laughs> so I didn't do much inside of this building. Um, also, there was no standard length model. And there was no magazine. Today we're using a magazine. Six round magazine, guys. So, Alright, this ought to be interesting. So... Let's see what happens. All right, here's where we're starting with uh, the 235 grain, just over 4,000 PSI. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is these 235 grain slugs. <laughs> Wicked looking, huh? Okay, see you loaded. Ah, it's always exciting. Good start. First shot out of this gun. Okay, ready? Here we go. Jeez. 1,003 feet per second. 525 foot pounds of energy. Round two. Jeez. It's pushing back my pellet stop. Um, 1,039 feet per second. 525. I'm sorry. 1,039 feet per second. 563.4 foot pounds of energy. Round three. Jeez. 1,054 feet per second, 579.78 foot-pounds. Wow, I am shaking with excitement. Wow. <laughs> 1,018 feet per second, 540 foot-pounds. 984 feet per second, 505 foot-pounds. Sixth and final shot. 950 feet per second. 471.01. Very good. Okay, that's the 235s. Uh, I'll take a screenshot of that and save it just to be safe. All right. All right, and here's our results from the 235 grain slugs. Um, oh, I also want to point out the factory specs. <laughs> I'm going to have to update. They're showing 920 feet per second with a 225 grain slug. These numbers represent a 235 grain slug, 10 grains heavier. Nowhere in these numbers did we even come close to the 920 feet per second factory rating, nor the 450 foot pounds of energy factory rating look at this we're way way over that 
<laughs> Very cool. These are great numbers. All right, now we're gonna do the 258s. The magazine is noticeably heavier. It's a heavier slug. Right, so, okay. Let's see what this gun does with these. This thing's freaking exciting, man. I rebuilt my pellet trap just for this. <laughs> I'm glad I did. It's literally pushing the whole mechanism backwards. Okay. Two fifty-eight, round one. Oh, I have two fifty-eight plugged in there. Thank goodness I remembered to hit start. All right, ready? <laughs> Dang, one thousand thirty-four feet per second. Six hundred, <laughs> six hundred and twelve point six zero foot pounds of energy. We went over six hundred foot pounds, man. <laughs> 1,015 feet per second, 590 foot pounds. <laughs> 974 feet per second, 543 foot pounds. <laughs> 933 feet per second, 498 foot pounds. Man, every time I pull this trigger, it's a thrill, man. <laughs> 904 feet per second. 468 foot pounds. Sixth and final round for the 258s. <laughs> 877 feet per second. Look at the foot pounds still. 440 foot pounds, man. Okay. That's the 258s. Ah, before I forget. Save this stuff. All right. We'll talk about the specs in a little bit. All right. And here's our numbers from the 258 grain slugs. I mean, <laughs> again, I want to remind you the factory rated numbers for the speed is 920. Um, shots one through four were way over that. Uh, on the energy, shots one through five are way over the factory specs. I mean, way over. Look at shot number one there. 1,034 feet per second, 612.60 foot-pounds. Wow. Okay, and for the grand finale, I got the mag loaded with the heavy 300s. They're heavy. This thing's heavy. Start. <laughs> 300 grain slug <laughs> in this monster air gun. Ah. All right, ready for this? <laughs> 960 feet per second. 614 foot pounds of energy, man. <laughs> 973 feet per second. 630 foot pounds of energy. It's literally pushing the pellet stop back. Nine hundred and thirty six feet per second. Um, I wish I could see better. Five hundred and eighty three foot pounds. Nine hundred and two feet per second. Looks like uh, five hundred and forty-two foot pounds of energy. This gun's incredible, man. Eight hundred and seventy feet per second. Five hundred and four foot pounds. Sixth and final shot. Eight hundred and forty-one feet per second, 471 foot-pounds of energy. Wow, the 
300s are really something, man. Really. And the gun. Ton of power. Take a screenshot of that. I'm going to save it. All right, man. That was awesome. All right, here's the results for the mighty 300 grain slugs. I mean, <laughs> look at the speeds. Very respectable, very usable, every one of those shots. What's more incredible is the energy column. Look at that. 614 foot-pounds. 630 foot-pounds? <laughs> Nowhere on that column do we even come close to the 450 foot-pound rating, uh, the factory rating. I mean, these numbers are way over the factory rating and way over my expectations. This is a serious air gun. The prototype did 956 feet per second and 608 foot-pounds of energy with the 300 grain. So this production model did better than that by far. All right, so there you go, man. There's some high-performance air guns right there. They're twins. I mean, they just have different length um, stocks. <laughs> same barrel length, same power rating, everything. Super nice air guns. I had a blast with them today. I had a blast with the bullpup. Every time I pulled that trigger, man, I smiled. You can see it in the video. It's a thrill. Really, really something. I would like to mention, as always, that everything that I showed you in the video today, we do have in stock here at foxairpower.com. So check us out, man. A lot of cool stuff at the store. So, all right. That's all I have for today. This is Terry with Central Valley Air Gunners and foxairpower.com. I want to thank everybody for being here, and thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.